One time for the queen And you already know Make some noise for your boy It's cut different, baby. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm. Shit. You just that allowed you, to be smoking it hey, in public. He He's lucky. Right. No, he lucky he didn't open that motherfucker up and think he had some crack. That's what he yeah, yeah, That's that. what he like, lucky that's really what I was scared of. I was thinking, you know, they might mistake it for another drug mm. or some shit. I got you. Know? I got Not, you. But they'd have tested it right there, though. They got certain shit that, you know, right on Something's the too close to something. Grab your phone, screw. Yeah, screw. Nah, it's something with Chuck. Mm-hmm. In the back with the facts. Yeah, it just got staticky as hell. Did we ever un- Oh yeah, we did unplug that. I'm about to say, did we ever unplug that mic? Six. Yo, yo, is I'm know. six. I don't know what that is. I don't that? like that. It just started though. Right. It wasn't. Be- it ain't been going on. Hold on, y'all. Technical right, difficulties. What? What, what was that? Was that? No. Lean over again, Screws. Shorten that court. It might. Hmm. It might be his court. Right about it. Bring that we other went court to ICB back. ICB nigga, grab it. Bring that other right there. Is it okay? He never yeah, took it. Yeah, they're all. Let's get yeah, plug him up with that. Together. Do you gonna have to do that? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Oh. You move your hands. Let the professionals. Nigga, I know I'm the hot hook of Mike. Hold on, take it through the, take it up under the table. Oh, it do, do got to come through here though. Oh, it ain't mine. Cause there it goes. Oh, it's the oh, yeah, right there. So what the fuck is that? I can still hear it. I can hear it slightly. All right, hold on. What about now? Uh, yeah. Yep. Still here. All right. So it's not that. What the fuck could it be? It ain't going no right now. There it is. Hmm. If you plug that in and it makes the noise that it's the mic, because that's my mic right there. It just completely stopped. Go ahead, plug up. It's still there. Hold on, bro, because it's, it's a three prong. Testing, testing. Bro, I... You got to stop with the get offended all the time shit, bro. We're just yeah, doing relax. the sound check, man. It's all good. I mean, the sound was good before we, we good? started. I don't know. I can cut that out or you can do it over. Nah, do it over for what? We ain't about to give take away that organic fire. Do you hear me? <laughs> do you want hot fire? <laughs> <laughs> do you want hot fire? Saudi ass Dylan. Boy, look. Yeah, what is that? That is crazy. <laughs> Dylan. Right. Hopefully it Dylan. don't play back on the playback. Yeah, that part. But uh, you were saying they, they took you. They, you glad they didn't take your crack? Yeah, I'm glad they didn't take my crack. Well, you got crumble, I think. No, oh, Lord. Y'all didn't get it. Hey, it's cool. <laughs> we going to get it. We going to get it. We ain't going to make no big fuss about it. You know, we going to get it. I just want oh. y'all to know I was looking out for my brother. All right. Other than that, you know, same old shit, man. Me and my cousin three out now. Slapping. Hardest CD in the city right now. Slapping. I ain't gonna lie. They slapping. They slapping. Toe tapper. Toe tapper. Yeah, they heard. They Thank slapping you. niggas. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I ain't gonna lie. Likely to say the hottest duo in the city. Hands down. Hands down. All right. So. What about you, brother? I've been writing music. Hallelujah. Can we get the uh, applause? Can we get the. Hallelujah! Can we can we get it? Give it up for him. Hallelujah! Give it up for him. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yeah. Give it up. I just want to say something. My nigga screwed. You remember he sent me the beat yesterday? Mm-hmm. My nigga emailed me a YouTube link. I thought that was the funniest shit. You could have texted me that game. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I mean, not I said, emailed I said, you. That's how I sent it. <laughs> he emailed me like you sent the file. You know how niggas send the file like I'm about to send no dough. You feel me? Yeah. Bro, right. send me the, the, the YouTube, YouTube link. link. Through the email. <laughs> you could have sent that through text. I, down, I downloaded it for us, though, if you want me to send that motherfucker back to you, you feel me? Whatever, nigga. Did you write the hook? Not yet. Let's see. All right. Can I, damn, did you go to the studio today? 
What you mean, nigga? All right, nigga, exactly. I couldn't go by myself. Well, I couldn't. Well, I could, huh? Yeah. Say huh? less. I, I got material, so I couldn't. Right. I, I don't know. You damn near sound like you scared to be in that motherfucker alone, gang. I'm working on a whole new mixtape. Uh, all right. Free Ant. Hey, Free Ant. But yeah, bruh, what you doing? Write music again? Yeah. yeah, for sure. You know, I'm preparing this uh this new tape. Um. What new preparing tape? this uh it's called the uh the cut different network compilation. Uh are you on some masterpiece shit? Nah, I'm on some goddamn uh, Rick Ross MMG. Oh, I got one for you then. Are you in? I'm in. We ta- oh shit. I'm in. What? We got y'all man, the C D N compilation. Yeah, man. Y'all hey, think I need to leave back. me up? Ar- Ar- I need Ar- listen, Ar- Ar- bro. And I, I got need- bars on in, in the notebook too. <laughs> hey, 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 I need I need stop. I need I need on that uh we already won remix. We can get nah, we can make I that need nah, part. Hell nah, no. Nope. We need on part. we, we move. Hey, look, he wanna get on my best song. We this are man forward. What? This man, yeah, hey, y'all begged me to come back to the game, man. I didn't ask for this, y'all man. Did. We we've been motivating you to come back. You know you yeah. never wanted Ooh, to leave been, anyway. And I've been there. I've been writing some fire, but we gonna get to that later. What you been up to, bro? Man, been going through some things, but I'm acting like the shit ain't even happened, bro. I've been I'm going still, through some things. I'm still above ground. I'm yeah. I'm gonna be here. You feel me? I'm gonna smell, and I'm gonna keep on. Keeping working up. in the crib, hey. working in the crib, <laughs> in, the, in, in the, the great crib. words of yeah, Diego, we gonna make it. We gonna make it, baby. We is. We, we gonna make it. Yeah. Real talk, but man, just been chilling, watching my talk shows. Uh, <laughs> got me a new one. You hear me? Um, yeah. Well, it's not really new. Uh, it's kind of old. They already five seasons in, but I'm just now tapping in. Uh, I was so intrigued by all the Queens men from Tyler Perry. I went on ahead and started watching the Oval. <laughs> went on ahead and start watching the Oval, man, and, and shit. Bruh, it, it's the the script is crazy. That's the only reason why I'm still in it. The the <laughs> the script is wild, b. You know what I mean? You you get to see like the 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 tangling twists that that come with the mm. politics, if you will. You know what I mean? And it's underlying like what really happens in our everyday lives for real we just too blind to see it but that's 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 one and um what's another one here man i've been going on uh can't even think about it that crumble got me but i'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute man scrooge what's been good man hold on wait <clears throat> rest in peace Akira hold on hold on, hold on. Nah, nah, nah. we was gonna get Ooh. Oh, my I'm about to say I ain't I just thought about it. Fuck me up. Yeah. I just thought about it. We gonna get to that. I ain't know you had one too though. Words. What? Uh, uh, R.I.P. Shout out. Nah. We all we, got we, this. We, one. Yeah. We as soon as we get yeah. through what we've been up to, you you gonna feel this one. Mm. We all got this one. Mm. Uh, man. Shit. Hold on. Wait. Did you do your R.I.P.? Did you get this I, L.P.? I was gonna get to that. Throw it that's, in. That's most definitely but necessary. I, I really wanted to slide it in after the song, but you know what I mean? Definitely dedicating that one to my homie Justin Lamar Greer, man. My one my my very first friend ever in fucking life, y'all. Real talk. Just yeah. lost my homie, man. That was our brother for real. You know what I'm saying? Grew brother. Together. You feel me? And uh yeah, bro, nigga been banging a lot of Fifty Cent. You know what I'm saying? Cause that, that was, was his nigga. That was that was his nigga. You feel me? And I used to grill him all the time because he really looked him, like that yeah, motherfucker. Used to call him you 50 feel me? Cent. <laughs> Swear to God, but man, big R.I.P. Man, rest in heaven, man. Justin Lamar Greer, man. JG Real talk, JG, man. Sorry, screw. But, go ahead, big dog. Man, yeah. All right, man. Rest up to the homie, man. Uh, uh, my condolences to you, brother, and the family. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Uh, it seemed like, man, that death shit, man, is... Well, that's that's the norm, boy. Even though it is a normal thing. I don't... It's, it's, like, as you get older in today's world and shit, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It just seemed more evident, like, opposed to back then. It's you fucked know, up, it's normalized. You know it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. That's but true every too. time it happens, it's like, damn, mm-hmm. I can't believe it. Can't believe yeah, it. Real talk. Um uh, shit. Far as man, far I, I had a, a crazy ass uh 
week, man. I had a little car situation and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? The nigga got smacked up with airbags and shit. So it kind of like, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? So outside of that, though, I'm cool. Um, I was cooking with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? So uh, y'all definitely gonna be hearing some uh, some work from uh, me and Yego, me and Nino, uh, my brother Be Real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Money Hungry Three. Uh, I got one song that I'm that's waiting on me, so it ain't no longer need no y'all. He went on and did what he's supposed to do, so <clears throat> it's me. Uh, but once uh, once I get in the booth, which uh, should be tomorrow, okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Money Hungry Three will be ready, man, and I'll be dropping that come uh, May June of this year. Uh, nothing to lose will finally drop All the right. beginning of motherfucking April. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of projects coming along, man, and just pushing, man. I'm trying to uh, navigate it, bro, and make shit happen. August, uh, April 6th, we got a show with Project Pat. Word. You know what uh, we got to see that, y'all. Yeah, for sure, in Middletown. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I got tickets, y'all. Let's tickets get it. Tickets for sale, you know what I'm saying? $55 a piece. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Chef, with the boy. Chef Scrooge been cooking. So, uh... And some other projects I'm gonna be involved in with uh Sada Baby, Lloyd Banks, and some other shit. So all right, man, we popping. Proud of you, bro, man. Keep man, do your thing, boy. Chuck, so, what's going on? Not much. Uh, just waiting for subscriber number six hundred to come in. We're man, tell them. And uh, oh yeah, I gotta make it five ninety two. I'm gonna go on um the me and my cousin page and subscribe tonight when I get back home. Amen. <coughs> <clears throat> so that's it really just normal shit so i was um i was on our channel the other day and i realized i wasn't subscribed to our channel that <laughs> i couldn't believe it blows me what type of I shit is that phone, i was on that the phone blows that shit me. i could believe it I'm and like, he made damn, sure everybody man. subscribed literally the brain the brain he not even subscribed. didn't even know didn't even know brain fart oh <clears throat> man then I told let him that be the reason <laughs> <laughs> alright cool let's get to our R.I.P. now let's get to let's get to the R.I.P. we lost the legend R.I.P. to Akira Toriyama oh yeah man of course fuck me up I didn't even realize that's what you were saying at yeah. first <laughs> yeah, hey, it's, it's not, not funny this, this, it's this not, is everybody's love I'm sorry y'all I'm, and nah, it was just the way I uh <laughs> You know, it was Diego. Diego. I call me how me hot that one, if you if if you will. <laughs> R.I.P. to the goat, man. Oh man, speaking of that, we're gonna go ahead and go into our first topic, my man. Um Stephen A. Smith, since he wanna fuck names up. Let me go ahead and play Stephen this clip. Let me play this clip for y'all, man. Stephen A. Smith. Steven. At EBSC ninety three writes, Who you taking in a one versus one? Goku or Vegeta? from Dragon Ball. First of all, my condolences. I saw the news alerts that this individual has passed away. Um, so the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, some of the most influential and best-selling Japanese comics of all time. That is the person that has died at the age of 68. Akira Toriyama suffered an acute subdural hematoma, a type of bleeding near the brain, they say. This is what word came out from his studio this Friday. So my condolences out to him and the best wishes to his family and loved ones. Uh, obviously hope God blesses his soul and he's up in a higher place. In terms of who I'm taking, Goku or Vegeta from Dragon Ball, I'm going with Goku. I have no idea why. I'm not gonna pretend to have any idea why. I'm just gonna tell you I'm going with Goku. I guess I like his name better than Vegeta. That's basically the only excuse that I have. At EBS. Hey, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, you go. Who you think he would have if he knew his name was Vegeta and not Vegeta? Oh, my God. <laughs> you think that would make a difference if he knew his name wasn't Vegeta? <laughs> Lord. No, I don't. Lord, have mercy. To that mercy. question, I don't think that would make a difference. Because everybody know Goku. It's the, it's the face. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie yeah. to you. Hey, uh, Stephen A. Smith. You was a bitch. Steven. <laughs> Steven. 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 You are the donkey. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You played yourself. Hit you him with the one. Say that. Wah. 
That's all I'm gonna say. You, you played yourself. Yeah. I think the one, right. but he just corrected you. No, nah, that ain't it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, that ain't it. Nah, 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 that ain't it. He get money, but that ain't it. Nah, that ain't it neither. Yeah, he he deserved to get though. laughed at, but nah, that, that ain't There we go. Yeah. There we go. That, that's it. No, y'all missed it. Give him that. Because uh -uh. uh -uh. I, I totally uh -uh. understood you did that on purpose because he fucked the dude's name up. Yeah. So you calling him stuck. Yeah, man, you know. yeah, oh, man. yeah. You didn't. Did get you it? go to tribal? You don't even know the dude's name Did either. Did you go to tribal? What's the dude's name that he's really trying to pronounce? Stephen yeah. A. Smith. He said it. No, not no. Nah. Oh, the Vegeta. name that he Vegeta. Who is he? Yeah. No, no. What's it? What's his name? Yeah, see? Really Let's say. start there. Oh, uh, yeah. He about to get. Let's start there. Uh -oh. About to get booed out the room. Uh oh. oh it, yeah. It's Goku he went and with it. Vegeta. Vegeta. Goku. You don't know the. What's dragon? his name? Nigga, I didn't watch that shit when I was growing what? up. What? Come on, man. I'm sorry, bro. That oh. just, you know what I'm saying? Listen, listen. My life story is let me different ask, from y'all. When I said Drake Cash you, refused you know to watch Dragon Ball Z, why you didn't say you ain't watch it neither? It's okay. I didn't I didn't need to put myself out there. Let me get a light. He Please, said <laughs> the light was on, bro. He didn't never oh, watch man. it. Shit, I'm gonna let him be. Well, all right. Well, so for the people that do know what's going on, let's talk about it. Yeah, talk about it. You, I it'll get my input off of y'all. Vegeta, wouldn't you think it's your journalistic duty? Come on, you. And then did nobody? Course. I'm sure they talked about this before he decided to put it on the screen and talk about it. No, no young boy in the back was like, "Hey, before you go out there and fuck this up and look like an idiot to everybody that love Dragon Ball, Lord, it's man. Vegeta, my nigga." I heard hey, you call him Vegeta. And, uh, he did. It could be could be quite the opposite, though. He could have, you know, spoke out a line to somebody, and they already know that he don't know who Vegeta is. And he's like, and they let me let up. me put this up there. Or the people <laughs> around him, him then, or the, pe like, or the people around Vegeta. him. Then, my neither. first question, my first question was, why is Stephen A. Smith talking about Dragon Ball Z the in the first died. place? What would be the point? This is nowhere near the sports Stephen A. Smith's league. Yeah, it's not in his expertise. It's not in his on? expertise at all. Like, it's hmm? not like. Hmm? What show was he on? Because he steps first out take. of his personal lane all the time. He was like, on first covering, take. He does, he's not a boxing guy, and they got him on all the That's boxing fine. stuff and all that. That's fine. Have you seen his That's basketball sports, stats? Though. Like, he's really not much of a basketball player either, right. but. Normally, he commentates basketball, right? And so, I'm sure he's not going to fuck up a boxer's name like he just. You feel me? Like, he's in the league of sports. Oh, no, he just he's called a LeBron sports. a nigga on TV. I, I saw that, too. But I saw that, too. That ain't He ain't fuck his name up and call him LeBron. 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 Le, LeBron. <laughs> he said, Le that nigga LeBron. <laughs> That's what he said. But, yeah. Did, for you not to for you to be a whole analyst and you not to do your research on the subject blows me. And this yeah, is do your homework. This I'm is a very homework. sensational anime that millions and millions of of people have watched for probably about twenty years now. You know, twenty what I'm my ass. That shit came he out in the eighties. In the eighties, listen, record, yes, he is not an analyst. He is just people. He's a person that interviews people. Hey, who Stephen A. He's Smith? An analyst. He actually gets paid to he's his his job description is to is analyze sports. Analyst. That would make you an analyst. analyst. His job no, description I'm, I'm, is a sports I, analyst. Brother. He has to I analyze. That. I know that. Oh, and that. that just went over your head, pal. Because <laughs> then Suki just said have a situation where she said she wasn't a musician, but mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just I just shot you with that. But he, Stephen he A. Smith didn't say he was in the I analyst. Know that. We did. Okay, bro, you went to try work. Go ahead. What was you about to say? Bro, over there playing chess with us. <laughs> he, he three moves ahead of no, us. Nigga, <laughs> hey, this nigga is playing. Go ahead, go ahead, this nigga is playing you? Connect Four. You Fuck are you talking about? Head. That didn't have you nothing to crumb. do with nothing. <laughs> what but you gave? It was a, It was the. It was a joke that you didn't. But go ahead. Man. Now that we know Man, it was a joke, right? that's a record. And that's the record. Three, <laughs> three, three, three wumps in three the, wumps in ten and minutes is wow. I get <laughs> one topic is wow. I got three, <laughs> three wumps in one topic is wow. Oh shit! All you right, added one. Oh yeah, because you said that was a joke. I tried, bro. Try to deflect my topic. I, you said that, and Chuck gave me the people's eyebrow. That's how I know the joke didn't connect. Like, oh yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, fact. <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> was, Chuck like, was like, the fuck? <laughs> Chuck was over there looking like a meme. Like. <laughs> All right, so listen. All right, we're going to go ahead. Rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, Rest man. Rest in peace to One of the greatest. Peep, man. And you know, um, he had his hands on that new Peep. Dragon Ball that's about to come out. So that'll be like his last body of work that had come Damn, out from that's like john singleton he was born in 1955 hey he the john singleton the anime for real he, yeah he's him yep damn oh, he's him the absolute goat hands down that's crazy and dragon ball is the number one selling japanese anime comic ever in ever. history in history so, yes you gotta think it so, started yeah. in 1988 mm -hmm. and they still have new episodes coming out well that's probably you know, but they still want to have hopefully. some new yeah. shit going yeah. on now, hopefully. and that shit started in the eighties. You know, um, I've been watching One Piece. I, Word, I, I still gotta finish Naruto. If it's I'm, a decent I'm, cartoon, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, cartoon, yeah, you see, anime. My... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> boss. All right, listen, we about to hit switch. Him with the <laughs> 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 my bad. So listen, man. it says. King at Congrats. I'm telling you. Shannon, don't do that. that. Don't, don't do that. that. <laughs> Bruh gonna be looking at me crazy all night. I'm clipping. Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay wins the iHeart Radio Award for Best Sports Podcast. And that's crazy because this nigga don't be talking about sports on this podcast. Listen, the I was literally about to say, bit. isn't that crazy? Oh, listen, though. A little bit. Yeah, isn't does. it crazy that the person that won Best Sports Podcast, his biggest interview is an interview with a comedian? Yeah, yeah, that is, that is. Shannon wild. Sharp is starting to, now he's starting to go more towards uh, entertainment. Entertainment. Because mm -hmm. he just had Desi Banks on there. Yeah. Uh, Lil, Cat Williams. Lil Monique. Rel. Monique. Lil Rel. Mm hmm. You know a lot of people now. Monique and Lil Rel don't have an athletic bone. <laughs> and they, yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing going on with that. Yeah. So, yeah, I just think that that's that's wild. But dude really don't do cover got, sports too much. He got a sidebar uh, show with uh, Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco. But he didn't win for that. He did it did but for Shay Shay Club Shay Shay. Yeah, but I'm, I wonder if that's like really a part of. I wonder if they attached that to it because that's no. the only it's saying club, thing it's saying I got club, for him. It's saying club because he only Shay. got one sports interview that I saw, and that was with. Uh, Johnny Manziel and he don't even play football no more. You know what I'm saying? So that that's crazy right there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. The only person that received the award was Shannon. The only thing that oh. I've heard in the past couple of years that sound crazier than this is vibing with Ohio winning best podcast at the Ohio Entertainment Awards. Oh yeah, but that's thought, absurd. <coughs> crazy. Hold on, I thought they didn't even. Have Go ahead, laugh. You know what? That's absurd. I got a button. <laughs> I got a button. That ain't even funny to me. <laughs> oh, 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 Lord, have mercy. You're a rock star. It's all right. He did that on camera. You're a rock star. It's all right. We do clip rock this, stars. Chuck. That's right. <laughs> rock star. Like you don't put your drink on the table. <laughs> Fuck it. Clip, clip this, Chuck. <laughs> This is the worst thing that happened since I accidentally cut off my mustache. Hey, can you bring me a paper towel, please? Clean up on that one. <coughs> Chuck said, this is exactly why you don't put the drink on the table. <laughs> now, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. That part. Oh, hey, shit. But he's if only they could have saw what happened shit. earlier. Did now, you guys see what Shannon hilarious. Sharp said about that Cat Williams interview? Now my nuts is gonna smell like Kiara wine. Oh man! <laughs> shout out to our <laughs> shout out to our sponsors, <laughs> Kiara wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Oh man! <laughs> what Shannon Sharp said about that Cat Williams interview? What? He made more money off that interview than he did in his in his entire football NFL career, career, bro. Ain't that crazy? Seriously. Bunkers. That's wild. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Dude had the best interview at the beginning of God the year. Is good. Hey, that interview was fired. You you must Definitely. admit, but Cat, Cat Williams gave Cat him Williams is a straight ghetto gold. Like Cat mm -hmm. Williams don't you know bring what I mean? it in. Like, Cat Williams is a is a uh, is, is box attraction. 
Damn, so I can't box get box office. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, and then with the shit that he's saying, would everybody already be knowing and then don't be like it's what everybody really want to know. You know what I'm he, saying? And intrigued about. If you ask me, he's the Donald Trump of comedy. Right. He gonna say what the fuck mm, everybody why, don't wanna say. That's why he was telling me that. Shit, I thought that's Donald Trump part. was a comedian. <laughs> no, if you think about it. Donald, a lot of people, if you if you on a political side, Donald Trump say shit that a lot of people don't or wouldn't normally say. He don't give a fuck. He let his nuts hang. He's most definitely Cat Williams is a motherfucker who let his nuts hang. He don't give a fuck. He's gonna tell you how the fuck he feel. Mm-hmm. Period. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is, though, is there's a difference where you got, he's a black man and this is a white dude. Two different two different platforms. I know get what I'm it. So, so y'all want to give me a lighter? It's crazy. I can't compare. I don't even know where my lighter is. Don't, I don't think Donald Trump, well, I, never mind. I'll take that back before I even spit it out. Did you guys I'll, see, speaking of Donald Trump being a comedian, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the lane he's going for because during the State of the Union the other night, he posted a video with the Snapchat filter on the people's faces that was giving the speeches. Like, he ain't, he don't take shit serious. Who, Donald Trump? Yeah. He has never taken... Yeah. Listen, so I, I guarantee he's, he's you... He's definitely going to be... He's the the morning man. that he won the election, when it was like, and new... Blah, 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 blah. President of the United States, mm -hmm. Donald Trump. He probably said, man, get the fuck out of here. You know, what? <laughs> like, right, right. he didn't believe his <laughs> shit when they said it. Like, Can I won. Be honest, oh, well, well, they really well, let me. Said I got to do what for four years? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. It's like trying to see if it was going to work. <laughs> it worked. I just wanted worked. to sell some t shirts. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, but it's like, really, I read. As, as dumb as people think he is, I respect him for the fact that he's just showing everybody really, like, it, it really doesn't take that much, you know what I mean? Like, really how the world works. He's, he, that's what he's trying to, him, Donald Trump, Kanye West, like, are one, I, and I'll say Ice Cube, they really, like, really trying to show people how the world works, you know what I mean? And, like, of course, Kanye West and Donald Trump, they real outlandish. You know what I mean? They get beside themselves sometimes. You know what I mean? But that's not, is that, that's what makes it hard to see through. You know what I mean? Because they can't really tell you directly. You know what I mean? There's just something to pay attention to. Right. Like, and that's, that's one reason why I wouldn't mind seeing Donald Trump continue. You know what so I listen. mean? So listen. We about to keep this conversation yeah. going because this is a conversation that I didn't expect to take yeah. into evolution, but yeah. it's a conversation <laughs> that I want to have because I got a question for y'all. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do closing statements on Club Shay Shay. Um, got you. I don't think you should have won Best Sports. Um, it's like a million other platforms that that is specifically talking about sports. You done evolved and surpassed sports and you done turned into the new, um, damn, the, who's the controversial person that people used to go to uh, for interviews? Yeah. Montel or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you, done, uh, you done entered a new realm. Like you, you know shouldn't have I mean? won best like, sports. You should have won best interview. Or interview of the year, if anything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you can't really give nobody that in, that type of award until the end of the year. Like, he had the best interview smack dab in January. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, at the beginning of the year, dude had the best interview. So, but they, I don't think they, he should have won that. <clears throat> they feel like that's the best one of the year. What other interview? No, that's the best have? interview that's, of the year, yeah. hands down. So but that's it, why they won. But he shouldn't have won best sports platform. Because he didn't interview There's nobody that was athletic. I, I agree with that you. part. So I'll say that. But while we're on the conversation, I want to know, what did y'all think <clears throat> about how Donald Trump did at, in his last presidential term? Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the possibility of him going back for another presidential term? Well, Starting with Chuck. I want to know what Chuck think first. <laughs> okay. I'm over it all. It's whatever. It don't really matter who who's gonna be in there. It's gonna be a shit show. But as far as Donald Trump specifically, mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big fan of how he 
represents our country because mm-hmm. i mean as much as we want to say the president don't do shit one thing they definitely do do is they represent our country to the people that live in foreign countries there's people that look at donald trump and assume that that's every american they're going to come across mm-hmm. and i don't I mean it's most of he doesn't he doesn't he does not represent me mm-hmm. and how i feel when he's speaking mm-hmm. and i mean we could probably sit here and talk about it all night but that's pretty much generally how, how I you feel, feel about it what about you yego shit i ain't gonna lie fuck a dude as, as far as i know when he was in office i got paid Timmy. So he made it to are you looking at me like that? No, nah, go ahead. I want you to finish your statement first before, yeah, before we as far as I know. Because in reality, to me, the person the president ain't never did nothing for me personally ever. Mm-hmm. Realistically, feel me? Fuck yeah. the president. I don't know that nigga. <coughs> Realistically, but you know. Nigga got me paid, so shit. Mm-hmm. Come back around, he got my vote. What about you? Yeah, man. I, I'm what he said, and plus, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna become a Republican this upcoming, uh, this upcoming, just to see how it really affects me. You understand? Like that's just what our that's just what it's all about for me. But uh, Donald Trump, he's a character, man. He really don't mind saying what he want to say he gonna just he's kind (laughs) of nonchalant at the same time disrespectful at the same time Mm. raw just just raw that much just that's just what he is donald trump just raw and i i can respect raw you know what i'm saying i don't like that sneaky shit i don't like that Faking the funk. I don't like that sleepy Joe shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just tell me what the fuck going on or tell me how you feel. You know what I mean? So I can act accordingly. You know? That part. And that's just pretty much how it is. Plus, brother put some money in your pocket. I mean, hey, who can... I mean, if you changing the economics of the situation, gas cheaper, shit, the taxes a little lower. I mean, what? why not? I mean, it's it just... Sound well, retarded to, all, to say all those otherwise. Things, all those conveniences that he brought us came with things on the back end that if you didn't pay attention to, you don't know. Gas Such was ass. cheaper because they disbanded the EPA. The checks we got, he fought against for nine months and didn't sign until he was forced to. So I don't know. I don't. I don't sorry, I don't. Really, I won't get but, into it. But no, no, no. What no, was? No. The, what, I mean, I, but how did it actually affect? You know well, the mean? environmental like, protection agency protects the environment, and they oh, disbanded listen, it to make listen, gasoline Listen, y'all, before cheaper. it turns into okay. a, a conversation, I so, want to know everybody's thoughts first. Before yeah, yeah. We, so let me know what you think. Right. I'm going to let you know what I think, and then we can have this. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Donald Trump is a, a, a rare case. The only thing... I could say positive about dude is he has a brilliant mind when it comes to business. He's a billionaire. So when it comes to the economic side of things or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I think he has the potential to run the country on that aspect. Anything outside of that, no. Okay. He had, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and, and that comes <laughs> with me being a man of morals. <laughs> the values and the principles and the message that you try to send out to other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to certain things over there, and then you have to look at how he handles situations. So mm, I can't really, I, I can't rock with, I, 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 uh, I respectfully disagree okay. with some of the things because he definitely wrote a wave that was paid for him easily. Cause let's say, look who the president was before he came into office. <clears throat> Okay, so look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, work, 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 work. One mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. One mic, hold on, because we can get into it. We can have the conversation afterwards after we get our thoughts. This is what I'm going to say. I'm damn near going to mirror literally everything you said. Yeah. Because first and foremost, 
I respect the nigga that'll tell me fuck you to my face than the nigga that'll smile and mm-hmm. talk about me when I walk away. That's mm-hmm. first and foremost. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what I'm getting with Donald Trump because he don't hide it and he don't cover it up and he let you know right now. I really don't fuck with niggas like that. Mm-hmm. I don't fuck with Mexicans like that. And uh, at least I know it's mm-hmm. fuck me because mm-hmm. it can be fuck you too respectfully. When I see you, I already know you don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with you. And it's okay for us to not fuck with each other. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It don't have to be war because we don't like each other. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing I say is Donald Trump is a genius when it comes to business. I agree with my brother Scrooge. Old Black ain't telling no lies. Mm-hmm. Dude, dude was um. That's, I think that's you. Hold on. Yeah, this is me. This is yeah, twelve. Um. Damn, I lost. What was I saying? Old Black ain't telling no lies. Old Black ain't telling no lies. Mm-hmm. Um. You said you agree with what he said. You pretty much agree with what I said. You know. The money was coming in at that time. Plenty checks. Hit, hit the hit the accounts and it was it hasn't been a presidential term in american history where that type of money mm-hmm. was flowing in the people's houses he might not like mm-hmm. black people but i know at least three people off the top of my head that has turned that money that he sent out to people every week into a legitimate business and they not working for nobody but their self he said recession where what um what up so, <clears throat> with you saying that, right? Mm-hmm. If we look at the order of command on how things are ran when it comes to the judicial, when it comes to that, hold on. Before you say what you say, can I finish? Get go ahead, my, go like ahead, I go let ahead, everybody go. speak their piece. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. No, just how it's good, big dog. Um, I heard you say who was the president before us, but Barack Obama didn't do nothing but come in that motherfucker and have a squeaky clean image. I don't really, I can't really say it was too much of anything that really popped off when Barack Obama was in office. Wasn't mm-hmm. the recession during the Obama presidential term? We did have yeah, a yeah. recession. Wasn't it like the most fucked up you can remember when Barack Obama but was in office? What they, that's what they That's what they want you to feel yeah. like. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like he wasn't trying, you know. President don't, president don't pass no laws. That, and that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? We be Congress too worried group. about we be yeah. too worried about the person, and he ain't nothing like, but the he face really, of it. He was really going out when 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 president. He was a president that showed up. You feel me? Like to the scene. Like we, I'm stepping down there. I want the people to know this is what I'm for. You know what I'm saying? And that's why everybody <laughs> respected Barack Obama. You know what I mean? But like I said, they they, they was fucking. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't trying to help him out. And and yeah, and make him to be out puppet. the great he was supposed to be. Which direction is going? I gave it to you. Yeah, it's um, that nigga Lord Barack Harris. Obama was a puppet. I'm not saying that he wasn't, but he all, was the, all I'm saying all, all I'm saying is this: taking consideration of this, every president has left bullshit for the next president to come in to have to try to fix it or whatever, and then that president that comes in still takes the blame for the president beforehand. So when motherfucking Barack came in the president, nigga, he came he came in, George Bush had us fucked. Let's be for real. So he can't, he, he for real. So when the president comes in, he has to fix what the last president fucked up and mm-hmm. then try to work his agenda. That too. But yeah. he takes all the criticism when shit don't go right. But don't nobody want to take into account what was right. fucked up when he came he, through the door in the first and place. And he had eight years to fix up 400 years of fuck up. So you feel me? So like, if you ask me to an extent, I give it to crazy. you. Yes, he was a puppet, but he did get some things accomplished. Now, with that being said, that helped Donald Trump do some things because he came in riding a wave of what Barack had already pro- taken had the already progressed. He had, mm-hmm. had, had already got going. Certain things Trump didn't have to fix. It was already, it was set for him to go ahead and progress off of. And then when shit fucked up with Trump, here comes motherfucking uh, Biden. So you talking about Trump put some money in your pocket. He gave out two, Trump gave out two checks that he didn't really want to pass out. Biden came through the door. You got one, 1400 
Everybody what, got that. That one fourteen hundred dollar check don't amount to that nine hundred a Respect, week that was coming. Respectfully so, but then hey, hold on, but then he gave the free audit shit. People was getting three hundred dollars every week on the taxes when with uh when with bad in office. So what was so so then, what? Yeah, you ain't know that. Well, did I get a piece of that? Yeah. I ain't getting that. I don't know if I got a piece of that. Fact check. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't getting nothing from Trump. For what? Or the the, the audit, the tax audit for the kids. (laughs) The parents getting. The, he, uh, it was uh, they could have it was getting like three hundred a I week got, or some shit like that. He well, screamed out fact I got check. This was in, like, I ain't getting none of that with, extra. Uh, with, Biden. When Biden became president, this is happening like twenty and like in like in, in matter of fact, it was in twenty one. Oh man, <clears throat> all right, you fact check that, but we ain't gonna stay on this because this wasn't mm-hmm. supposed to be a scheduled topic, and I know that when motherfuckers see. Conversation about Trump. I don't care how he do the caption, they gonna click on it. <laughs> oh yeah, for so. <laughs> Hey, but can I give a round of applause? Cause I think this is what Martin Luther King was talking about when he said he had a dream <coughs> where some black guys was defending Trump and a white man was about to get on their motherfucking ass. <laughs> 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 um, it was the, uh, the American Rescue Plan is what he was referring. To. The Cut Different Network is the is the manifestation of the dream that Martin Luther King was talking about in front of all them people. God damn it! Uh, you guys want to hear hear some of Trump's failed businesses since he's such a bill, nice businessman? Shoot, we, your, shoot we, we going on to the next. Go, topic. Nah, shoot your shit, and then we're gonna go to the next topic. <laughs> nah, nah, I, don't, I ain't gotta list them all off. There's too many. All righty. Mike Tyson. Logan Paul. Versus Logan Paul. (laughs) (laughs) Logan Paul. I was about to. (laughs) No, it's Jake. It's Jake Paul. Oh, wait. Logan in WWE, right? Yeah, Logan. Yeah, Jake WWE, Paul. There we go. United yeah, we States talking about champion. WWE or we talking about USC? Yeah, man. <laughs> what are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here, man? Shit is Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Hey, man. I ain't Listen, gonna lie. Listen, this is what I'm yeah, going to start Tyson. doing. When I bring up a topic, I'm not going to ask you niggas what y'all think no more because y'all here to think. So y'all should know already, all right? So when I spit the topic out, you ain't got to tell anybody me is like the is like the fucking jump rope at any time. Somebody, nah, for real. I think you already know, man. Mike, ready, bro? I don't. You can't even begin to even tell me that Jake Paul about to do his thing, cause, bro, I grew up watching Mike since I was little. You feel me? You can't get the images out my head that I don't already seen. Like Jake Paul finished. It's over with. Lie. I'm sick of seeing these weak ass exhibition. Don't mean nothing as publicity. <laughs> <Man. Fight. laughs> uh, Championship. Boy, do you, have y'all seen my boy Mike hitting that bag? Yeah, he's scary as fuck. Mike could down there go yeah, contend. What? For some like some real right life now, shit. like on everything. What right now he, he can go out not, there. He, and... he just might not have to win. Man, he. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Did you watch? The, sure. Did you watch him versus Roy Jones this last yeah, that last go? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. And, then they get, and he they spared. Made, he he spared even, Roy Jones because yeah, he can't do job. what he really allowed to do. And can I He's, be honest? Exhibition fights. I think. I think Roy Jones will whoop Jake. Man, Jake, nah, you don't think so? I think Jake. I, I think man. Jake could beat Roy Jones. Jake, Jake disappointed me real bad. His, Jake ain't that now. Jake ain't that. No, but I'm saying a he younger ain't Jake, that, bro. I think it whoop a older Roy Jones. Man, I'll send up for a watch. All right, so listen, dude, let man. me ask you oh this: God. in a Roy Jones Mike Tyson fight, could Mike Tyson have or have not knocked him out? A long time ago in that fight. They wasn't allowed to knock each other out. I know out. they wouldn't, but if he wanted to, could he have knocked him out? Yeah, yep. sure. He smelled blood. You he can sure tell. Definitely I, I, he was sparing Roy Jones. He smelled Fact. blood. You can Jake tell. Paul ain't, I don't ain't think, a young nor old Mike Tyson. No, and that's the point that I'm making. But I don't think. I don't think in a real fight, 
Jake would have a chance with Mike Tyson, but I think in a real fight, he would probably get off on Roy Jones right now. I don't think so. I don't I, that's, think so. that's personally just what I think. And they about the same weight so. class? That's the same weight class, ain't it? I don't think so. Nigga, Roy Jones looked like a pug out there. That yeah. was Mike Tyson, though. That was, that no, was I'm Tyson. talking about when you look at Roy Jones, his physical conditioning, yeah. he looked like a pug. <laughs> For nigga, sure. he did. For he sure. an old man though. You but know what I'm saying? Like, Mike Tyson is still, still like, Mike it, Tyson. It, it, right? so, so, yeah. so you trying to say that off of the Mike Tyson fight that he could go that Jake Paul could go with him just because Mike Tyson did him like that? Hell nah. no. No, I just feel like Jake Paul is in way better I, conditioning, I so. and I feel yeah, like sure. Roy Jones' body wouldn't stand up in a real fight where a nigga can really knock you the fuck out. Nah, bro. Mike Tyson was sparing him. That's that was that's, like that's, that's Mike Tyson. Though. And what I'm saying, like, and what I'm saying, like, what I'm saying if Tyson. Jake, I feel like if Jake, I don't feel like With Roy Jones was holding like, back fighting I, Mike Tyson though, bro. I feel like Roy Jones got way more experience and technique. Bro. And we'll put it in this white boy life. Real but talk, I feel bro. like Jake Paul got My way more stamina and conditioning. He got age on his that's side. Cool, but Roy Jones goes, ain't in peak condition like a Mike Tyson, when you, bro. When you, Roy when Jones this, got this. When, when you, why, look, Jones, Jones got this. But listen, me. how many people smart get, but can get hit with the right look, shot, let me bro? Tell you, and I'm how say many something, people bro. got wind and can hit you with the right let shot? Me, let me tell you something, bro. In that ring, bro, Jake ain't got... He ain't got it up here, bro. He, you, he not even you out there. You got to know what you're doing in that. We ring, need y'all in the comment section too. You, you said what? Well, you got to know what you're doing in that ring, bro. When when I say experience is everything out there, bro. Wait though, I just watched some shit it, earlier it, when some professional fighters said that Roy that that Jake can really fight. He ain't no slouch, man, bro. I watched this fight, man. I watched the fight. Man, he, who he I beat watched up? It. Who is he fought? He didn't. Nobody. Who is he fucking fought? Some. Let's start there. Who is Jake Paul nobody. fought? Nobody. As a matter of fact, it was both besides, their first fights. Uh, besides, uh, <laughs> he fought, did he fight? Not when, Wait, I, when I saw him. I, that fight. was Logan Paul. That was Logan. That yeah. Who is Jake okay. Paul fought, Chuck? Yeah. Um, he just fought. Oh shit! It was a retired boxer, wasn't it? Yeah, it was oh, a man. retired boxer. He ain't boxer. fucking fought yeah. nobody. He ain't trying he to fought a retired boxer that was trying to come get over on Roy Jones. In. Hell nah, dude got this, and he got these. Dude was that like nigga got real technique out there. He outboxed the fuck out that young stupid ass boy. That nigga ain't fought no damn body to say he could come fight Roy Jones at any age. I don't give a fuck what you talking I can't about. Believe he got a shot with. Logan, maybe. You, I done seen Logan go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with it's, real it's fighters. It's Do you think <laughs> Mike Tyson has never fought anybody with a better boxing skill level than him? There you go again comparing I'm just asking Mike Tyson. You, no, I'm just to I'm just Jake asking Paul. you. I'm asking you a question. You said has he say that again? What's the question again? Do you think Mike Tyson has ever fought anybody that has a better <laughs> boxing skill level than him? A hundred percent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dude was like 18 years old, not yes. sure. Out. There's no way he was this <coughs> so fighting. Why does Mike Tyson have the power and the ability to put down somebody with a better boxing mind? But Jake Paul don't have the power or ability to knock out somebody better. Cause Jake I mean, Paul knock out somebody with a better. Mike Tyson, bro. Mike Tyson. You missing my point. No, you're missing your own point. Why How? are you comparing Jake Paul to Mike Tyson? You keep doing it consistently. I'm, what I'm doing, <laughs> what I'm doing, is I'm comparing convenience, bro. Yeah. It, all right. So yeah. listen. So you think, do you think, you think you really think Mike at his wits end? No, 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 no. Listen, because I'm okay. making this point. Please, you got to make it for him. Jake Paul has no chance in a real fight with Mike Tyson. That is right. Fact. That, that's not even a discussion. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, I really feel like Jake Paul right now could beat up Roy Jones Jr. Oh, man. <laughs> Out of... I, what I'm, I'm saying is my money this fight, that. if if Jake Paul wins, it's because it's a, a money grab. It's because yeah. it's the the un the unpopular opinion. Yeah. If a nigga bet that Jake yeah. Paul win and he actually wins, think about if they let's say they open up the betting post for this shit. Matter of fact, yeah. I think that's a better fight. I think that's a better matchup, to be honest. Roy Jones versus Jake Paul better than Mike Tyson. I, you know, like that's just that's my why opinion. if Jake Paul wins. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
All right, Mike Tyson gonna be Mike Tyson no matter what at the end of this fight. Yeah. There's not going to be any type of image damage done to Mike Tyson's name. Mm -hmm. But if Jake Paul doesn't win, he's the one that's the young nigga. He the one that stands the game. Yeah. Man. And to lose everything, to too. To lose everything, too, right? Do y'all know But you know don't think, y'all might say, y'all don't think motherfuckers exactly going to be like, man, that about. was Mike Tyson. This what the fuck was you don't thinking? don't give a fuck about <laughs> this match. Oh, no, man. This nigga don't give a fuck about this match. Who this you talking about? Mike? Jake Paul. You don't think he cares about this? Fuck no. That nigga was going out there to get a bag. <laughs> Just to say, I yeah, said, I fought Montez. That nigga was going yeah, out there to get a bag. I think I can take a couple shots. You know what I mean? I'm you don't try. think my brother, yeah. my brother fought Mayweather. <laughs> fuck it, I'm going to fight Tyson. Yeah. Fuck it. Come okay. on. Come on. Let me just like see that. if I can last. I know I can't win. I'm going to just try to go the whole rounds with him. Yeah. So you don't think. He know for a fact. He Jake Powell don't care about. Do you know? Mm -mm. That's like near my because it's I'm an not, exhibition match. It doesn't even matter. They can't really even physically mm -hmm. harm each other. So really, they neither one of them care about this match. It's about a bag for both of them. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they, you know they what? They drawing attention. They did a great job because they got us in here debating about who would win a fight that can't nobody really win at the end of it. It's just gonna really be based. Nah, upon we opinion. wasn't debating on that. You was trying to bring Roy Jones into this. <laughs> and Roy bring Jones you some was. Relevance. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't think he could take a cut. Too many of them goddamn body punches. Man, dude ain't got no fucking hands on him to even damn near get to Roy Jones. Like like Roy that. Dog, Jones, man, quit playing take, with him, bro. That was my Roy, boy. Bro. You can't take nothing from Roy. Dude, I mean, be out there him, happy him being him being matched up with Tyson is just a whole different because you match Tyson up with anybody at the end of the day, Tyson. Right. Tyson is just a whole different breed, bro. He's just a whole different he caliber type champs, of fight. I'm trying to. So, man, I'm, trying to that, I'm trying to put that was never my chance, that was never right? my argument. No, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying in general, like. It's, it's, it's. I'm trying to break this down in wrestling form for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's your way to say layman's terms. Yeah. All right. That's like. All right. Mike Tyson is Roman Reigns. All right. Jake Paul is. Hold on, I can tell him what exactly I can what it's like. Who he, I can you tell, I you can remember? Tell you. you remember I when Mike Tyson tried to go against motherfucking Shawn Michaels Sam, and shit? Sam, Sam. <laughs> that means they ain't. <laughs> nah, that's no. giving, that's giving him too much credit. That's too Jake Paul that's, is Stone Cold. That's, that's too much credit. It was Stone Cold and Mike Tyson. That's Zawa. too much credit. Jake Sammy Paul's Zane the guy from credit. the crowd that jumps in the ring trying to. Oh, when they really beat his. When they really. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm trying to make it realistic here. I'm trying to make it. Jake Paul is Shane McMahon. Oh, wow. And Mike Tyson is who? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. <laughs> Jake Paul is Shane McMahon. Right? That's actually a really, no, listen, yeah. really good comparison. No, listen, right? Yeah. All right. And then Roy Jones is Goldberg. Yeah, he old, but he'll beat the shit out of Shane McMahon. Yeah. For sure. Wham. All right. Yeah. Done talking. All right. Good analogy. All right. Good analogy. Yeah. Great analogy. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Also, it's it's a uh, <coughs> fight's gonna be on Netflix. That's also part of it. Oh, really? The bag. That part. bag. Oh, yeah. I, said, I, said, hey. I said it's a bag. The bag. Net yeah. Netflix is the bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Netflix. Yep. You, you know that nigga that they get on with three fives all year and mm -hmm. just run it up and stack all his paper and before you know it, he outside in the bins. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea how this happened. <laughs> Netflix. 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 Netflix bitch. Huh? This nigga ain't got no bricks. Yeah. Nigga pull up <laughs> that <laughs> shit on. <laughs> Pocket full of that pape. Uh. How long Netflix been around? When did Netflix start? Can you look that up for me? I want to say 2012. I was just. I think, it was, I think it was sooner than that. I want to say 10, 11. But Netflix, guess what, y'all? Netflix put Blockbuster out of business. We don't yeah. even got. We don't even got a guess because you know who we got. 
the man. Chuck in the right. back with the, the facts. With the whack, whack, he about whack. to let us know Chuck exactly. Back with the whack, whack, whack. Exactly <laughs> when it came. Whack, 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 whack. Are you guys ready for this? Boy, we ready. Everybody give their guests real quick for a year. Hold on, wait a minute. 2012. <laughs> I say, oh seven. I say, two thousand three. Two thousand nine. August twenty ninth, nineteen ninety seven. What 1997. the fuck? I told you they, they were Netflix sending us DVD. Blockbuster out of business. I told you oh, they, they weren't even them sending the DVD. They were sending I told us DVDs you. in the mail. Way yeah, before they like, had the uh, rush. I'm Street like Gamefly. Remember Gamefly? <laughs> yeah. That's a separate company, though. I don't know what I'm saying. It was like that. Similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, similar, similar like to that. Got yeah. the idea from Netflix. Yeah. Netflix was sending us DVDs. Damn, that mm-hmm. is that. Yeah. I remember when the streaming app. They was Netflix the first red box. It was Netflix. When did that to. start? When did the streaming app start? Let's go see. That's 2012. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say He said, that's the Netflix I know. That's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to do a guess on the year again? Or let me just tell you. I said I oh still nine. say 07. Hey, just l- 09, 2012, 07. Yeah, I'm a, I said 03. He said 03. We've got a winner, 2007. Okay. All right. He knew. <laughs> nigga, I just, kept, this <laughs> I just kept that information in the tuck. Like, I can't <laughs> wait for a nigga to ask. <laughs> They had one. There was only one thousand things on Netflix at the time. One thousand shows. Yeah, that, I bet you that shit looked like Tubi. Oh yeah. Netflix probably looked like Tubi in 07. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Chuck, man. Good looking. Did y'all ever use Crackle? Do y'all remember Crackle? The oh, yeah, yeah. You? Uh, yeah. You remember when Hulu first dropped? That was, and you just had to watch <laughs> the little commercials. They were the first ones to do. I've that. never had Hulu. When I first yeah. came out, it was like that's how I was happened. watching Snowfall for real. They would what pick the like fuck is wrong with you? five episodes of You're the supposed show to give me your, randomly uh, from like one from one. Your lead, login one information ain't never. never and they my would girl never it gave it to me. She like it would be available. Blame like with it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell her, yeah. tell her out on there. I did that, tell her. Weeks. Get on okay. the rack. Damn, sis. Watch the whole thing, but not in order. That's damn, sis. She being petty with the bro. Can't get the Hulu account. The PW. Damn. She being petty with the PW. Yeah, Mr. It's the network. <laughs> you petty with the people. Damn. Yeah. yeah, Netflix been uh been slanging them one fives, them three fives for a long time, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah. Hey. Got they weight up go. on Netflix. Netflix turn. <laughs> Where's the actual Damn, this don't come with a uh Who posted that? <coughs> <laughs> Jarko, this didn't come with no no link, man. What is it? What is it? It's a elderly home elderly home worker caught selling explicit photos to oh. patients. Oh, so <laughs> so my my question to this is, <laughs> damn. My question to this is, would you fire her? Yeah. What happened? Hold up. What happened? She got to fucking go. <laughs> What happened? Somebody at the nursing home was selling nudes to the patient, to the people that live there. Wasn't so, it another patient? Oh, so, no, it was a worker. Yeah, it was a worker. Mm-hmm. So who fought it? I wonder if it's that. Huh? Who fought it? The who's, buyer or the seller? Who's fought it? The buyer or the seller. Yeah, hey, you know what I mean? No, that's she it. wasn't selling. That's a better question. The option to buy. You know, Are you buyer. sure? I think it might be them. Was, it wouldn't have been from her. It's the if buyer. there's other avenues, then let them get it from there. But if you, she, she made. Uh, Come on, man. You know, old what if he school offered to buy and came and he, she came up know. with the idea to sell it from there? Like, hmm, shit. He he ain't gonna tell nobody shit. Shit, somebody told because apparently some easy the, money. somebody found this shit out and the bitch found. Do you blame the buyer or the seller? You blame the seller? You blame the buyer or the seller? If it's your grandpa. And it's a lady in there selling your grandpa naked pictures. I'm not mad at nobody. If it's my grandpa and, and she said, I'm not mad at granddad, nobody. You nasty but good. Hey, you did your thing. Hey. Hey. You do the fuck you do that, granddad? My whole Man, thing is, money on this. Bruh, <laughs> you could pull X videos up on your phone for your granddad. You think them pictures is something. Man, that's on mm. granddad. I'm not here with it's granddad all technology day. technology and world, ain't it? How many times has X videos <laughs> hey, not I ain't gonna lie. you when you had to go to something else? Let's be I would have been like, excuse hey, me, no, man. Don't skip mm-hmm. over this question. What'd you say? 
How many times has X videos not worked for you and you needed something else? <laughs> a picture, though? Anything at all. Yeah. Other than what you just said. It might even be yeah, X right. videos don't work for you. Let, <laughs> Let me go to OnlyFans. Let me go. X and X, X. See what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't See sponsor us, but I like to give a special <laughs> shout out to XNXX.com. Hey, man. Changed my life. At nobody in this situation, man. Or X Hamster. Pop's got to get it how he lived, too. I he imagine. Just, she just dumb enough to get caught. She wasn't supposed to show okay. her face or nothing. It was but if it, wasn't, if it wasn't your granddaddy. Shit, if it was me, I can't, I can't even be mad. I was just talking shit. I can't be mad. Get it in, man. Yeah. Fuck it. Have fun. Why is this an issue? I'm about to she say, fired. How you think fired? granddaddy going to feel? <laughs> you got a bitch. You got her in Somebody's trouble, wife probably came but in there and found I can see why she got fired, but I don't mm -hmm. not get it how you live. Yeah, it was right. Yeah. Not me. I thought it was some dialogue behind right, that look link. Right, I couldn't uh, wait right, to read look that. Right, look right, look right, look right. What's up? <laughs> I got a... A, a, a damn near devil's advocate <laughs> Real flip side of this mm -hmm. What if your grandma Was in there getting pictures from a male worker Oh yeah it's up Oh hell no nah. <laughs> yeah. You damn near cutting into my hair But she shit. cashing yeah. out <laughs> <laughs> She cashing out though <laughs> Nigga I asked my, my, hey, my boy, Grandma boy. to help me out grandma last month out. And she told me she didn't have no money she yeah, always she got money, you. so that was a red flag. <laughs> now I know that she ain't here buying dick pics from you, nigga. Yeah, see? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. You about this for the end of this? Yeah, I'm calling the news down here right now. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you know I work with them people. <laughs> hey, I'm getting, I'm getting. I'm, hey. They all up when in the news station. What you want, yeah, what wait. you want to do? <laughs> 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 You're going to jail now. <laughs> no cap. Uh, All right, so listen. Have you ever had a car repo before? Nope. Yeah. Where's yeah. Some, where's some? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Yeah. I had I had a car repo, but it was one that I want. I would. I just <laughs> knew I wasn't paying on no more. I was just waiting for him to come get it. So I guess you could call that a repo. Um, y'all seen nah, them? That don't count. So look, check dig though. Y'all seen them videos where uh, a nigga pull up? You know they got them new repo trucks where the thing come down and, and dude just pull up and pick your car up and snatch off Word. on you. You ever seen you that? Seen one of the videos, mm -mm. bro? I love what that cold blooded. I love that. I'm gonna show you on YouTube. Boy, that nigga back up so fast into the car, mm. damn near like. Hey, I got a story to hit it. Like, <laughs> and then they can drive the way that it, it hooks it up. They can drive away with it and then pull down the street and then get out and chain it up so it don't come off. Like it goes under the tires. Yeah, spreads yeah. Out, just pull it out. The tires up fast and as pull fuck. Pull out and then go around the on, corner. Man, that's like on some fast as fuck. Some, some RoboCop, some shit. GTA shit. You remember yeah. the, the the first mission on GTA when you pulled up mm -hmm. and the the hook just swung back and grabbed a car. Yeah, and pulled off. Mm -hmm. Then they're faster than that. Now listen, I need y'all to walk with me. You 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 worked hard. Mm. Got the car of your dreams. Mm. GLE. You got it. You hear me? You getting up, getting in that motherfucking driving every day in that bitch, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you lose your job. Now you back on some of your pay your car payments, right? Damn. Mm. So you done hid this motherfucker so the repo man can't find it. Damn. Mm. And then you find out that you bought a new school car and it comes with this feature. Ford in the process of a patent application for self-driving cars to drive away from their owners. After a series of missed payments, Ford's proposal will force the car to drive itself to a <laughs> repossession agency. Having the car drive away would be a last resort. The patent application shows Ford would first pressure delinquent owners by disabling some of the car's features like the air conditioning or having the audio system play unpleasant sounds. Wow. <laughs> All right. They said, what he out there? What are you out here eating red lobster, boy? Lock the door. Bring him to me. What? <laughs> hey, That's just think I'm about going. it. You done, hid your, you done hid your shit, right? This boy out here eating good. You done, you done hid your shit, and then all of a sudden you hear, 
Autobots roll out. Yeah. <laughs> and your car start up. <laughs> just take off driving. <laughs> What? Cause you yeah. laid on your pain. Boy, uh, you laid on your pain. A self repossession. Crazy. Built work. in. You but listen, they they not playing with people no more. They finding a way to make sure they get hey. eight dollar year. <laughs> That's Boy. nasty if work. You owe, if you owe a car note, you better pay that Bruh. motherfucker. You gonna Man. be at the grocery store that it came out. If it's a way for them to do that, it's a way for somebody to steal that motherfucker the same way. But you know, Bruh. You know it's a way to nasty work. This, that's a mold. That's that's not hey, that can nasty. Can I be honest? Here, bro. Can I be honest? I'm going to get me the a same caprice. way they coming up with that shit. <laughs> the next thing they'll be is gonna be a motherfucker. Gonna learn <laughs> how to, they gonna learn how to hack them bitches. Bruh, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Bruh, that's dangerous, gone. bro. Like they imagine the bootleg them. hack on the. Let me get that Hellcat. <laughs> what? <laughs> like bootlegs, you man. feel me? Like, <laughs> That's well. Imagine you I on a date with Joe. With, with, with you feel me? You on a date or something, and somebody type in on the computer. They steal your car, and that motherfucker just drive to them, and and you in the car, and they just stole your car with you in it. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a dead body. I don't know what's going Cause they, on. Cause they on the bootleg side. On they the don't bootleg really know. side, like damn, even, you weren't supposed to be in it today. Yeah, you weren't supposed to you be in there. You usually don't be home, and you usually be asleep by now. <laughs> you got to think. You don't know where you going. You don't know where hey. you going. You don't know who this is. That's some scary ass shit. You just got to jump out the man, car. Man, I'm, I'm about to ride. body some shit. You hear me? Even whoever approached this vehicle, you a dead man. Mm. <laughs> Ain't. You can't even get out. They got the doors locked. Man, what? I'm trapped in my own goddamn car. Mm-hmm. They can hack some shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't With a laptop. To, uh, I don't know how to unhack with it. the laptop like this. I don't know how to unhack it. Man, listen. You can't use your phone because it's hooked up to the car. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Mm. He walking up on you like this. That's why. That's that's that's, that that's, that's, that's really that's really crazy. Though. That's the society we living in, though. That's how shit really is. Though. Shit bonkers. If a motherfucker can hack your bank account, nigga, they gonna be able to hack anything. To actually hack your car, though. On everything, you yo, they can get your, they access your phone, your your debit and Visa card that's attached to your. Yeah. Boy, that's gonna make you want Apple that. Pay hey, shit, fuck that. Picture this. Mm-hmm. Sicily, nineteen. I done went to Virginia to go visit my son. Yeah, All right. And I spent my car note money on gas, hotel, and food for while I'm in Virginia. Yeah. Mm. I come out from the hotel to get ready to come home. Your car done drove home. Car's already halfway my, home. Nah, fuck halfway <laughs> home. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. But just imagine if when you come outside. Mm-hmm. It's your gone. car is pulling out of the out of the parking lot and <laughs> as you drive because check this out. You just got done packing it up. Is one thing because listen no, this is the kicker right here. This is the this is the most fucked up part about it all, right? It's one thing. It up. Listen, no, 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 no. Fuck that. Just imagine this. The car is about to drive back to Dayton. At least if you was going to repo my car, you could have gave me a ride back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel me? Yeah. Not only that, but it's going to drive itself. So I can really relax. I can get on Facebook and fucking sleep. <laughs> That's cool. Cold blooded. Hey, that'd be perfect. Man. Man. As soon as you get the date and um, submit a payment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Crazy, man. Yeah. So. It says, Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, is reportedly seeking two years of missed divorce payments from Wendy's guardianship. Where that money at, bitch? Mm-hmm. Where that money at, bitch? Because if it was it. him, you would be trying to come up. He, hey, he'd be having to come up off that money. Hey, where that money at, bitch? Check this, though. Here go his statement. <clears throat> I rely on the severance pay for my living expenses. And having been without this income for 23 months has affected me greatly. I would not have to file this motion if the plaintiff did not stop my severance payments. And if the plaintiff would have signed the qualified domestic relations order for the after retirement plan. Kevin Hunter. You know, you got to make it sound good. Okay. I have a theory. 
What what you say, bro? A, a deal is a deal. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a contract, baby. You signed the contract. You feel me? Like that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Bring me my money. My money. I got a theory. Y'all want to hear it, or do y'all mm-hmm. want to tell me what y'all what y'all think about this topic first? Lay it on me. All right, boom. Want to hear it? Here it go. Yeah. I feel like Wendy Williams is pulling the biggest finesse in American mm-hmm. history. I don't think Diddy did it. I don't think Ooh. Wendy Williams has dementia. Mm. I feel like she's using dementia as a reason to not pay this man's money. She gonna simply say, I, I forgot. I thought I did. <laughs> Is she even in control of her money anymore? What they gonna fuck around That's and say what is, I wanna know. I don't think she is. She don't even remember being married to you. <coughs> <laughs> so? so <laughs> hey, oh, I can't stand. I can't stand when a motherfucker hit me with the, I don't remember. Fuck you mean you don't remember. I do. I remember. Clearly. And this shit happened. Clearly. Like on 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 my, man, that ooh, that's one of my pet peeves right oh, there, bro. Shit, bro. Man, I don't. Oh yeah, that hit. I don't oh, remember that. That nigga said so, mean? and then ooh we, hey, that's crazy right there. That's one. That's one of them right there. Like, but ooh, Wendy Williams. I don't know if she faking it, boy. That's if you faking it, boy, you going to hell, boy. You. But you know what, Chuck? What? You made a valid point. Because That's if wild. she got all that going on with her, like on a serious note, there's no way they would let her to continue to be in charge of her assets. Yeah. yeah, she's, I think, I don't know if she's still under it, but it's a temporary guardianship because mm. her bank uh, pretty much said that she was an incapacitated person and the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. So basically they saw her spending habits getting weird. And I don't know what the steps are for after that, but basically I think somebody in her family's in control of the money and it might just be him trying to let them know, don't forget my shit. Well, 22 <laughs> years then passed. I, I would like to say they forgot, if you, especially if you used to getting this money every month. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. that's, this is, I think this is something new, this guardianship. I'm still reading about it to figure out a date, but... If that's the case, he might be bringing it up now because somebody new might be in control of the money. He might be, oh, I can get my money now. You get what I'm saying? And before and before y'all get in our comments section and you get to treating us some type of way, y'all been checking out our comments section lately? <laughs> I ain't been in the comments. Boy, they are getting lie, bro. Yeah, they are getting aggressive. In our <laughs> in there right now, they gonna lie. They getting aggressive in their comment section. They ain't gonna hold you. Up. It, that was her job to talk about them people. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's like it's our job too. Mm, hey, somebody <laughs> say somebody else got a job too. But I just, you so know. yeah. So yeah. but I was just making a uh, uh, <coughs> making something lighthearted out of a serious situation. So please don't. Then this is my my opinion and my opinion only. So. Everybody has one. <laughs> so, Wendy, oh, what you oh, think? Oh, Wendy, man. Uh, Wendy, if, you know what I'm saying, right now, you know what I mean, medically, uh, legit, literally legit, you know what I mean, she can't do shit. You know what I'm saying? As far as that bank account goes. She, she Allegedly. She's not taking care of herself. You know what I mean? She's in 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 some other type of care. But um She needs to send that bread. She needs <laughs> she need to send that bread, bro. Whoever in charge, y'all need to send that bread. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> And that's need the bottom line because Stone Cold says. Hey, and matter of fact, and it shouldn't even. Three months. It shouldn't even be. We we don't even have to talk about this. What's the word? Where that automatic payment at? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like that should be automatic. Like because if it was him, go ahead and take that shit out. My, yeah. man, what, man, my great grandma raised me. Man, she always taught me. 
baby, if you owe somebody, you ain't got no money. Mm-hmm. That part. You know what I mean? Like, and it, it's, that's what, that's all I know. You feel me? Where my bread at? Yeah, Period. For sure. So, yeah, I guess, you know, just get, run that man's money because it's his money and he needs it now. He went work. Um, Mm-hmm. So, are y'all hip to somebody named Bishop Lamore Whitehead? I seen uh, no, not right mm-hmm. off. Of I seen the, I seen you put it in the uh, topic. Okay, well, the caption reads: Bishop Lamore Whitehead speaks out after being found guilty of fraud. Mm-hmm. And I quote: mm-hmm. "God is still good." Mm. Uh, it says, uh, <clears throat> looks like Bishop Whitehead is in good spirits after his fraud conviction. As we previously reported, he was found guilty of wire fraud, attempted extortion, and lying to the FBI. He could be facing up to 45 years in prison. Mm. Damn. And he says, the story isn't over. It's just a new chapter. 40 what? Stay tuned. God is mm-hmm. still God. They can all laugh now and talk. Mm-hmm. After this, Jesus will <clears throat> still get the glory. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned for this new chapter called Truth and Vin I'm sorry, Truth and Vindication. Mm-mm. Bishop Lamore M. Whitehead. 40 what? You guys know this what his nickname is? What is it? Bling Bishop. <laughs> Bling Bishop. <laughs> yeah, no cap. Hold on. I, yeah, you know what? Let me show you exactly what dude looked like, too. My bad. And when he was found guilty on those five accounts, that was from three different schemes, not just from one thing. I need you, Chuck, I need you to pull a picture up with him with that big ass Cuban necklace on. Yeah, if I you got don't that. Mind. That one. Yeah, I, hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it for Yego. Man. <laughs> uh the new chapter of his book is called I'm Locked Up. <laughs> you don't let me nah, out. nah, it's called Chapel and Chow Hall. That's the new name of that's the new chapter of his book. It says Bishop Lamore Whitehead convicted of multiple fraud charges for allegedly scamming church member out of her ninety thousand dollar retirement savings. Mm. Damn. Wow. Mm. Damn. Wasn't wow. smart enough, brother. Damn. Couldn't get it off, brother. You had you had grandma donate her whole life savings to the church. <laughs> That's all it is, though. And he and he went and got him a bust down oh. Cuba. Oh yeah, he'd be out in uh probably about three years. You know, I'm about to say mm-hmm. they t- he they was talking major. that crazy. Yeah, shit. they act like he killed somebody. He's forty been, years. Like, what? I said what? forty. What? He yeah, they ain't gonna give him all of that. Yeah. Right, damn. They gonna fake give him about five and let him out. In a couple. And then they gonna make him pay that money back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Sorry what? for you. Some what? some what? of it what? anyway. He might have actually <clears throat> won. Possibly, huh? No, nah, that rollie's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so be <clears throat> real quick. You said he's still going to court for that. Or they was no, like, he they got convicted. They, they, they just waiting convicted. on. They just, they just waiting on seeing what numbers they gonna throw at him. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see him doing that all that time. That's Ooh. just what they what he could look up to. Like mm-hmm. when they when that's how they that's how they do you like a F one and F two. A F one carries like eleven years. A F two <laughs> carries like up to ten years. Don't let him know something. So I, he, he, said, he said, don't ask no questions. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask Hashtag no <laughs> questions. <laughs> so they just add the numbers together and shit and throw that shit out there. Yeah, that's crazy. He said, just give the money. Hey, that's <laughs> he said it. Hey. He said pass the collection for Hey, He bro. said, nigga, I said pass the collection. <laughs> yeah, he said, get it over there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so are y'all familiar with the company Boeing? What is Boeing exactly? Make airplane. That's B, yeah, that B O W. The Chinese airline or something? No, that's, that, that, they make all, all like the majority of the airplanes. 
747, all that. Boeing. All right. Got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it says Boeing whistleblower found dead years after speaking out about safety concerns. A former Boeing employee who spoke out about safety concerns with the company's aircraft production was found dead in his car over the weekend in Charleston, South Carolina, according to officials in multiple reports. John Barnett was found dead Saturday with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Charleston County Coroner's Office said the 62-year-old was a quality manager who worked with Boeing for over 30 years before he retired in 2017. So this is somebody that's been telling on a quadrillion dollar company mm-hmm. <clears throat> at the late age of sixty two years old. He decided to just one day I can see that happen. Shoot himself in the head. I can see that happening. Can you? you just, I'm, I'm not. Less, I'm saying, far as him exposing and people, that's a cover up. Oh, okay. There we go. That's where I'm getting. That's there where we I'm getting. okay. See, that's what I'm saying. There I we see. go. It's a cover up. Yeah. When you making that much money, we can't afford for you to put this exposure because you're gonna fuck up what we got going on. So we mm-hmm. can silence this old nigga. Mm-hmm. Get rid of him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Uh it was some things that I, uh uh it's a person, um Area fifty one. Are you mm-hmm. familiar with that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Area, and that's where they come they talking about all the UFOs and the aliens and, and all that type of shit. So But mm-hmm. you know, they didn't already say it. that shit was real. They didn't yeah, they already keep, they keep, they keep that. talking about it. They, they, keep, they pushing. keep talking about it, but it was a guy or whatever that uh back then who was speaking, I can't remember his name, and I had to get on my my research, you know what I'm saying? But same type shit, they cover up guilty. Get rid of him. Just like the See, black man that, <clears throat> that found a way to operate a vehicle using water. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you see uh, GM done invested in hydrogen engines. I bet. They're already yeah, After they done took all the specifications from the man that they... Mm. Well, he, he, he was too far ahead. They're like, we got to make all of our oil money before we go over to the water. Not even too far ahead. They probably didn't know what the fuck they was doing, and he did. So they mm-hmm. took his information mm-hmm. and got that's rid of him. <clears throat> typical, mm-hmm. That's typical shit. For yeah. sure. Been going on since the beginning. Since that's the time. beginning. And that's when there's crazy. so much money, the like when you get a time. corporation like the oil industry or the airplane industry, you see how much money there is. They don't even hide the shit. Mm-mm. Like, come, what are you going to do? Who's going to do anything about it? You don't there's got so enough much money, money that yes. nobody mm-hmm. wants to do anything about it that can. And you ain't got enough money to try and do anything up about it because... Thanks. I remember when dude That's was talking, thing, this so was years ago, he was talking that they were cutting safety, they were cutting corners on safety and stuff, and I didn't realize he was going to turn up dead, you know, seven years later or whatever. That's crazy. And that's what you do. You don't. You don't get. You don't get it when it's obvious. And have have you guys been hearing about all the things happening with planes lately? The door blew off of one. A wheel fell off of one while it was landing in Houston. <clears throat> um, didn't hear about that. One took off hear. with a fuel leak the other day. The landing gear malfunctioned on another one. Let's see. And uh, the one where the the door blew off. Um, you know what they did to get the those planes back in the air? But, they just changed the name of the airplane. So now it's back to square one as far as safety. Instead of addressing the concerns, they're just going to let another door blow off or something like mm-hmm. that. Hmm. So yeah, I think be careful of flying right now because they're starting to cut corners somewhere where they're See, Chuck, you they making the, me. I, I've never people flown wonder before. Why I, don't, I have. I don't you you, pu- you making me just hey. be like. I'd they pulled. Try, bro. <laughs> they pulled the wish Timu move. All right. Just swap the name. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it could mm. just be they, they don't want people moving around as much right now, so they're going to scare you into not flying. We'll no, nah, don't make the wheel in the window, cool. the I door open and shit. You could do a better job of scaring me. A little turbulence. Oh, all right. You know what? And then <laughs> I'm cool for thing, a minute. Another thing that used to get me is these motherfucking 747s, bro, they big as shits. How all of a sudden this big ass plane and these hundreds of people on these planes just disappear and you don't know where the fuck they are. Hey, bro, that tripped me out. They bruh. just going off the radar. I'll, a whole plane. Whole, I mean, the whole shit's just gone. You don't know where. With like a hundred people on it or something. Yeah, what type of shit? Luckily, that's a lot more rare than what's going on 
I, so I think we need we need to address but, that. But, but, but it's, but it's the happening. The stays on but it's so they happening, can live though. to disappear. It, right. Like, <laughs> it's it happened. happening, though. Facts. Fuck like, the dumb shit. It's to, today. I mean, like, it's, right. That's not that's not as common, though. It's Final, been years since that happened. Final that statement. a couple years. Final ago. statements. Let's go. What y'all like, got to say about it? Five things happened in the last week with the safety concerns is what I'm saying. Respectfully, yeah, man. Just don't man, be. I got a just don't be trying to go head to head with a major corporation, and you ain't all you got is the tiger. You know what I mean? Like, right. You take it easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spike, Boom. Pick and choose your big battles. Yago. Thirty seconds or less. What you got coming up, big dog? Oh shit, I'm going to uh, Virginia in the morning. I'm out of here. Track meet nationals. My nigga made it to nationals. Yeah, that's right. About to see what he's what he feel me. Huh. Hmm. Me and my cousin three out now. I ain't got nothing going on. Cooking up a couple verses. That's about it, man. You know, get with me, pot type shit. That's about it. Chilling like a villain, trying to save a look cheese. You feel me? And I'm gonna keep on watching my little shows. BMF been a little hit for me, so I'm gonna keep on rolling with that. Uh, all the queens, man, keep on rolling with that. The oval Tyler Perry he got my attention. A I cut bit. that shit on one day and my son was in here. I'm like, oh no, 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 cut that shit off. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah. It it started off like that. Like, uh, oh yeah. nah. All right, go ahead. But yeah, just about to chill out, man. I ain't doing shit. What's up, Scrooge? Man, nothing too much. Same shit, you know, man. Cooking some verses, man, studio, some same shit. And uh flipping and getting it, getting it and flipping it. You know what I'm saying? And trying to um, Mm-hmm. Just pay the way, get another way, man. Try and make some shit shake, man. Until the nigga ain't gotta worry about it no more. You hear me? I feel it. Chuck, um, editing pod, trying to get this uh, sports show together. Life's been a little chaotic last couple months, but I'm getting getting a little stability going. So I think we're gonna get to get to that in the next week or two. All right, great pod, everybody. No guess. It's been a minute since we ain't had to sit here and and um. Actually work. Be you know interested, I mean? people. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Actually work. <laughs> so check this. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an asshole. And everybody has a podcast. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. You were tuned into the unfuck wittable. Everybody has one. And we going to leave out with me and my cousin. Tap in. Let's go. Yo, fuck my tag team shit. Nah, go pee. Get up out of here. <laughs> My they keep telling me I need to tap in. Tag team, I'm about to tap in. Tag tap team. in. I got it. They keep telling me I need to tap in. Tag team, I'm about to tap in. Tap in. Most playing with the money, so I need to up front with the back in. Right. Niggas wanna come be a part of my lifestyle, just tap in. Put the pussy in a full Nelson, I'ma knock it down till she tap in. This is Sharp Shooter. I bet all these pussies tap in. Put this hoe up in the figure four, I bet she tap in. Nigga ain't aim the drink, go at your toes and make it tap in. Telling me I need to tap in. Fuck around and just tap in. Fuck around and get the pack in. Hit the circle button, make the pack spin. Hit a pile lick, I won't rap again. With the birds like Donovan Bitch, I ain't your boyfriend I ain't saving hoes like Batman Game winner when the bitch is loaded It's a home run when I Batman Lion leader, never back man Unless we talking Diego, got your back man Had the pack in, got the pack gone Got it back in and did it all again Got them all falling, something about the end Money growing trees, I'm about to rake the leaves Saying tap in and make some extra cheese I'ma tap in and make your mama scream Fucking right, bitch, I love to rap They love a nigga like a double tap He against the nigga cause he bought a strap Used to run from niggas like a running back You don't feel me, nigga, you can run it back I don't talk on phones cause they probably tap Niggas down I'll fall be these bitches, dog, but they don't wanna get into that. They keep telling me I need to tap in. Tag team, I'm about to tap in. Tap in. Most playing with the money, so I need to up front with the back in. Yes. Niggas wanna come be a part of my lifestyle, just tap in. Tap in. Pussy tap in, put this hoe up in the figure four. I bet she tap in. Nigga ain't a drink, go at your toes and make it tap in. She telling me I need to tap in. Fuck around and just tap in. I hit a frog splash out when that bitch, she got her splashing. Flipping her over, stretching her out like she elastic. Pay me for a show, you tryna book me like scholastic. When my set finished, turn in the future. Magic, cross face a nigga like Ben Watt, having tapping. I don't do too many features, I rob all my rap friends. Talking about a I need to tap in, send my nigga through the jack him. I'm taking it, I ain't asking. Get snatched up for that capping. Uso, we the one, yeah. Knock him out, one and done. We like Fat Joe and Big Pun. Cause they get him, I get it done. Got that pack in, get the pack on, got it back in and repeat. Dope dog and them dummies like the Dullies. It's in 
3D. Hey, they keep telling me I need to tap in. Tag team, I'm about to tap in. Tap in. Most playing with the money, so I need to up front with the back end. Race. Niggas wanna come be a part of my lifestyle, just tap, tap in. in. Put the pussy in a full nest, and I'ma knock it down till she tap in. This is sharp shooter. I bet all these pussies tap in. Put this hoe up in the figure four, I bet she tap in. Tap in. Nigga, ain't a Draco at your toes, and make it tap in. Huh? Keep telling me I need to tap in. Tap in. Fuck around and just tap in. Tap in. Shout out to G Money. Hey, somebody, oh. anybody, everybody, tell them when we're going to see them. In, In a, a minute, minute boy. boy. In a minute, boy. One time for the queen. You already know, make some noise for your boy. Oh. It's, it's cut different, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs>